So right here is what the garage looks like in the evening without any lights. As you can see, it's pretty much pitch black. And when I flick the lights on, So one of the projects I want to do is install a better lighting system up here on the ceiling. Um, as you can see, there's one light bulb there, and then there's the garage door opener light. And those two lights alone aren't really enough light to film here in low light conditions or at night. And I really want to be able to work around my workshop some more. So I'm going to be installing um, lighting. I'm going to install six new bulbs up on the ceiling. And it's pretty simple, and I'm going to connect them all to a switch that'll go right here on the wall. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but that's going to be a separate video of me hooking up the switch. And um, it's going to be something pretty cool and unique, not just a normal switch like this. Um, so it's not really a lot to explain. I'm just going to drill small holes in the ceiling and run the power cables up there, do some power management route the cable down the side of the wall and to this electrical box right here for connection. All right, so I'm about halfway finished with the uh, first half of the installation. Um, you can see there's one light right there, one light is right here, and the other light is over there directly over my messy, messy bench. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm stripping the ends of this connector right here and I'm going to bind all of the connectors together at the central point and then run power to that central point and then distribute that power from this light to a light that's going to end up back there um, over the garage door. Time for a quick update. So as you can see here, I have the first three LED lights um, attached to the ceiling and they are connected down here to this cord that's sitting on the floor. Um, I have the second set of three currently installed, but not wired together and also not connected to power. What my plan is, is I'm going to be utilizing um, this light socket right here to provide power for the rest of the lights. See this light right here is a traditional light which uses 65 watts of power. All of these lights together are only going to use less than half of that power. I'm going to run the powers that goes from the light socket to these wires and this light socket right here is controlled by that switch down right there. I'm going to replace the switch with my own setup that's going to be coming up in another video. And um, I'm going to have a manual push activated um, lighting system for the shop. But I'm gonna finish wiring up the lights. I'm going through it, I'm installing these clips right here. Um, these clips hold the wire um, a little bit closer to the ceiling so it dang doesn't dangle so much. If you see over there, there's about two sagging spots if I wouldn't have the clip put over there, it would sag about a foot down from the ceiling and that doesn't really look very good. So I could always add more, um, but these little clips right here are definitely very useful for preventing too much sagging. I'm done. All six lights are in place. Um, this is what it looks like during the day without the light on. And this is what it looks like with the light on. It's a pretty big difference even during the day, but at night it really makes an enormous difference. But as you can see here, looking at the bench, the lighting of the bench is much better than it was before. I got all six of these LED light bulbs, along with all of the cords to install them on the ceiling for less than $50 at our local Ikea, supposed to be pronounced Ikea. And it was an amazing deal. As you can see here, these are the LED light bulbs I used. And these are the cords I used, and they're available online at ikea.com, as well as at their store. So definitely, if you haven't been there yet, go check them out. This right here is what the garage looks like in the evening without any lights. As you can see, it's pretty much pitch black. And when I flick the lights on, there it is. Everything looks exactly as if it were daytime. Success. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for my next video coming out very soon about how I'm going to build a power control circuit for these lights. Thanks. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to click the subscribe button and check out some of my other videos.
Meatballs are the best. They have the best meatballs too. They have the best Swedish meatballs there as well. So get yourself a plate while you're at it.